Hey, how's it going everybody? Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm going to go ahead and just dive right into the video and start where I left off from the last one. So, I'm going to be showing you how I use the Feynman technique and active recall when I'm trying to learn new material and really deepen my understanding on a concept. So I'm going to be using my OB or Organizational Behavior Study Guide 3 for an example. So when you're studying for an exam, I find that the best thing to do first is to lay out a table of contents. Doing this gives you a better overview of the subject. So you can start on the overview and then start kind of going into the more specific details once you start studying. I got pretty lucky. Our professor actually was kind enough to compile the study guide for us and write out the questions. So it saved me a bunch of time. So one of the first things I'm going to want to do is uh, I want to put away all my notes while I'm answering these questions. It's really important for you to actively recall this information while you're testing yourself to see if you really understand the concept. So I'm going to go through a few of these toggles and I'm going to check what is the group and its attributes. So I know that group has interactivity and a shared mutual goal. Let's see if I got a second. Okay, cool. So I got that right. What are the attributes? I know that has two more people. Perfect, nice. So I'm going to color this one green because I, I got it right. I'm going to go on to the next question and see how I do. So basically I'm going to roll right through all these questions. I'm going to see what I know. I'm going to see what I don't know. I'm going to color each one according to how I felt when I was answering them. So as you can see here, if I have a green color code on a question, that means I had no problem answering it. Uh, I'll go through all these questions and I'll start to see a pattern. What this does is, so next time I want to study, I can identify what I didn't know and what I did know. I color code it according to difficulty and how much time I took to answer the questions. So red being probably the one that had no idea how to answer and green being I had no problem whatsoever. With the yellows and the oranges, those I have kind of an iffy feeling about. So by the time I'm done answering all these questions, um, you'll see it in a little bit. I'll start to see this pattern and what this pattern is going to show me is the gaps in my knowledge and this is really important when I'm studying. So next time I want to study all I have to do is focus on the colors that I don't really like like the reds, oranges and really focus on those topics in two terms that are simple to me. I'll start using examples or analogies like the Feynman technique says. And if I'll be able to explain it to someone by the end of it, then I know that I have fully understood it. Thanks so much for watching.